Hey guys, it's Tom Chu, and today we're going to be doing a dodging and burning tutorial. Now this will give you advanced level results, however, it's a, a really easy way to do a great job at dodging and burning. You know, Photoshop has some tools built in, and I did a tutorial for uh, people who are just getting started with Photoshop on dodging and burning, and it used these particular tools. However, you're not going to use these tools anymore after you see this. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new layer, blank layer, and basically, what is dodging and burning? Dodging is making something brighter, and burning is making it darker. So think of it as a fire. You catch something on fire, it gets burned, it turns black. So that's the dark area. So people get confused. So you see the shadow area? We would just basically darken the area or burn those areas. In the highlight area, say in the clavicle, we would make those brighter. Same thing on the face. The highlight on the nose, the cheek, the jaw, maybe the side of the cheek or the eyebrows, a little bit above the eyebrows. All of that will get dodged or brightened so basically the way the professionals do it they'll go in with the brush okay and they'll just paint with white so let's get our default default chips in here hit the D key and then flip them so they would go in with white okay and they would paint they would use a tablet and they'd be very careful and they would paint in an area something like that maybe the brush is a little bit too hard there and maybe I'll turn my flow down to maybe somewhere around 10 or something like that he's a nice soft brush and they come in and they paint these these highlight areas maybe down the nose a little bit come over here and if you're really good and skillful and you take your time you can come in here and beautify your image by making the highlights lighter and the shadows darker okay so oh, let me undo that one I don't like that one Maybe it was a little bit more over here on the face. Okay. And then definitely down here on the clavicle. You can see that's supposed to be highlight a little bit. So is this. Maybe a little bit back over in here. Oh, that's too much. Okay, something like that. Come in here and hit this stuff. So this is what they do. They just, with a a professional artist's touch they come in and they lay in this beautiful highlights maybe they'd come in and hit each one of those little speculars on this necklace you know make that pop too okay and then what they do is they turn this to soft light okay and you can see the big difference what soft light does and then they control the amount it does uh, the effect with the opacity and masks well that's a lot of work and you have to be very skillful that's not for everyone right so this is the way that we're going to do it I'll just start from the beginning delete it it's off I'll start with the blank layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in I'm going to grab a color of skin that's not white that's close to the highest you know the brightest part of her face or the highlight of her face so I choose that color and I'm going to make it just a little bit brighter okay something like this all right now on this layer let me zoom back a little bit with the paintbrush I'm just going to paint over everything. Okay, let's get our opacity right and our, let's turn our flow all the way up. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to paint everything on this scene. Okay? Paint it white or paint it that skin tone color. All right. So there we go. So now we've got this well what we'll do is we'll change the blend mode to soft light, okay? And then we're going to double click this and there's a a function inside these uh, layer styles which are blending options okay does all your effects stuff drop shadow and stroke for your letters but it also is blending options so we can do blend if gray okay gray leads to black so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to these two little triangles looks like a like a tent or something we're gonna hold down the alt key that's the option key on the Mac and it's gonna split those okay so I'm going to pull this to the right, and if you look over here, it's only going to allow that effect to be onto the highlight. Okay, so I'm going to pull that one all the way over, and then I'll use this one to control how much of that effect I want on the face. I'm going to leave a little bit over what should be done, just so you can see what's going on easily. We click OK, 
Okay. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that before and after it applied that effect only to the highlights. Okay. The brightest portions of her face. All right. So we're going to do the same thing for the shadow. Make a new layer. Okay. Except this time we're going to be painting with a dark skin tone. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select one of the darker areas of her face, maybe something like that. And then I'm going to pull down and make sure that it's darker than that skin tone. We click OK. All right. So let's zoom back a little bit here. And I'm just going to paint the whole image with this brush. Okay, you really don't have to, but I'm just going to paint it all with this brush. Maybe a little bit on the shoulder. All right, that looks good. We'll change this blend mode to soft light. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to double click that, go back into its blending options. And instead of using the shadow side, we're going to blend to the shadow side. So we're going to grab the highlight side. Again, it's the Alt key option on a Mac and slide this little slider over. And you can see that it starts to apply just the effect to the shadows. So I'm going to slide this one all the way over to the side. And then I can basically get rid of the effect completely. But again, I'm going to let it darken up the shadows. I'm looking down here in the arm and the clavicles and seeing where it starts to get dark and it's pop like that. Okay, where it starts to pop. We click OK. Now what I'll do is I'll group both of these together. Just shift click them both together. Hit Control G. That's Command G on the Mac. That groups everything together. And then I can use the opacity slider to turn down the effect. Okay. So let's leave it up all the way. That's the before, or sorry, that's the after. There's the before, and there's the after. That's a great way to dodge and burn without having to go in and be real meticulous. Okay, now when you do drag down the shadow area, it changes the saturation. And I think that it's the, the colors get a little too dark. So I'm going to go back into this particular uh, this layer. And I'm going to grab the saturation image adjustment, saturation, hue saturation. I'm going to pull the saturation down a little bit, okay, in the shadows, okay. You can see it doesn't really affect the majority of the image, but it's just going to pull down the saturation in the shadows, okay. And then I think it needs one last effect, one last touch, because she looks a little pale. I think she needs to be a little bit red, you know, a little bit more red in the skin. So I'm going to grab a curves adjustment, okay. And I'm going to select with this little hand tool and a face, a point in her face. And if you look over here on the curves, it's going to say, hey, uh, we're going to set a point for you. But I'm not trying to adjust the luminosity. I just want to adjust the color. So I'm going to go to the reds, okay, with that little hand selected, come over to the highlight of her face. Okay, now with that dot selected, I'm just going to hit the air up arrow a couple times, maybe two give a little bit of color to her face and I'm going to come to the blues and I'm going to add a little bit of warmth okay so what's the opposite of the blue right it's the yellow it's the cyan so that will warm up the image so I'm going to do the same thing with this hand tool selected I'm going to make a point somewhere in the face like this there's our point I'm going to use the down arrow and click it a couple times maybe three two three and that gives it a little bit of color to her skin it warms up the the, the skin tone so it looks like skin tone she doesn't look like a vampire or something like that so that was before the color and that's after the color so we can turn off the color we can turn off the uh, dodging and burning we can turn off the skin we can get back down to the raw image because the raw image is right there that's it non-destructive workflow dodging and burning sorry the tutorial was so long but I want to show you how to do it get professional results without all of the uh, hassle of being a professional. <laughs> thanks, thanks for taking time to, to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.